Tara finally hit 50k subscribers. Yo, the setup is just hilarious, but I really feel like this picture is gonna come out cute. Mwah. I like my little flowers. Pretty. Low key, I ate. Low key, I ate. I just posted my first Etsy listing. Oh my god, why do I feel like really nervous to talk to y'all? Hey! 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 How y'all doing? Do you remember me? <laughs> it's been like three to four weeks since I last posted a like full video and I'm so sorry. I have a really good explanation, so let me explain. Let me tell you something. Great, great. Let's, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The last video I posted was my future concert, which was great, amazing, and I think that was back in January, right? So, fairly shortly after that video had uploaded, I got really, really sick. And I feel like I got sick because I went to the future concert. Like, my immune system was like, girl, what the fuck is you doing? You know, like, I was around all these people. It was raining that night. It was cold. So, I feel like I got sick from going to that event. When I tell you I was sick, I was down bad miss mama's like i couldn't talk my throat was in pain 24 7. um it hurt to swallow my food i was like drinking chicken broth beef broth tea that's literally all that i could consume so i was really really low on energy and i was just i was just out of it okay so it's like all right let me go ahead and take a break and that's really not how i wanted to start my new year so i was really hard on myself and i was just not in a really good mental space to be honest then after I like, you know, got over my cold or whatever, my face started breaking out. And I'm still getting my face together as we speak. But if you know what you know, when I don't feel confident within myself, I'm not filming no content because it's it's I'm not I'm not gonna be able to fake it. You're gonna see it all over my face that I really don't wanna do this shit. So that's how I was like, alright, I'm just gonna extend the break a little bit more. And then after that I feel like I got really mentally discouraged from doing YouTube and I got to keep it a mean with y'all. I did not want to put out content because I feel like no one was watching my stuff. Um, February, now we're in the month of February. That's when um, YouTube started to allow their creators to monetize off of their YouTube short videos. And if you know, that's really like a TikTok video or Instagram reel. It's really the same thing as long as you don't have like copyrighted content within it. And you know, I started playing fiddling around with it and they were doing really really good like i was getting a lot of good engagement my subscribers went up crazy and i was excited about it but it made me turn around and be like if it took me two minutes to film this and 30 seconds to edit it and they got 5k views and my video that i took hours to film content for and hours to edit only got like 300 views that's disrespectful and it blew me and i was telling my boyfriend i was like i don't feel like i want to do this shit then because if i can put in a little bit of effort and get great uh great results why am i gonna do all that to get this little bit of uh, you know like it just wasn't making sense to me you know i don't really do it to go viral i don't really do it to have my you know, my little five minutes of fame type shit i don't do it for that i do it because youtube is a great way for me to express myself it's a great way for me to come um, communicate and connect with my audience and it's what makes me happy at the end of the day so bitch i ain't going nowhere okay speaking of me wanting to do youtube because i get to engage with my community i'm so happy and excited to say that tara finally hit 50k subscribers of course with the help of my community like that ass couldn't have done it without you you know you know i would be talking to myself right now if it wasn't for you yes you for you watching this video right now so i just thank y'all from the bottom of my heart you don't understand how much y'all mean to me and i'm not just saying that because i hit 50k i say that all the time if you look down my history of my youtube videos i'm in the comment section on every single one of them videos talking back to y'all giving y'all advice telling y'all where i got stuff from i don't get keep ever y'all follow me on instagram i'll be fucking with y'all i be telling y'all to keep going and go harder when y'all want to stop creating the content that you guys create i really engage with y'all 24 7 and i love it and i'm so happy to be back and i'm so happy to have a solid ass community like that's my favorite part of being a creator so yeah with that being said thank you so much again 
and this is the whole purpose of this video because this is like a 50k celebratory video um i'm about to take y'all behind the scenes with me because i'm dropping something really important to me since i hit 50k i've been working on an e-course for a really long time probably since last july <sighs> And I would pick up the project and I would put it back down when I was started and I wouldn't really finish it. So that's also what I was doing during my break. I really like dedicated myself to finishing and completing my e-course and now I'm proud of it. I have created 15 pages or slides worth of quality information that I think is going to be important to anyone who is either starting their YouTube journey or social media influencing journey, period. These are all the tips and tricks and just basic information that I wish I knew prior to starting my journey. So hopefully this e-course is able to help anyone out there who wants to get their foot in the whole social media influencing world i guess you can say so probably by the time this video gets uploaded the course will be out if so if that's true it'll be linked in my description box below and it will also be linked in probably in my comments too because the description box be messing up my link sometimes you still gotta do something about that but anyways this video about to be lit okay because i'm about to do all of the like promotional content that i want to put out to you know increase the hype about my e-course so i plan on doing two little mini photo shoots at home because it's not that big of a deal to be ran out of space and getting like a photographer and shit but i could do this myself so i'm gonna get some flowers and a cake to celebrate because i'm realizing i hit 50k a while ago and i never really celebrated I'm going to try to put a little bouquet together. I'm going to get a cake and a candle so I can do like this one particular video. Y'all will see later down the line. And I'm also going to run an ultra because I need to beat my face. And I need some new makeup items. <sighs> We're just going to do a lot of running around. So I got all my errands fit. Yeah. And we about to get started, okay? I don't know about turning up on me. Don't it's me such a me. nice day out. Side, you guys all right so we just pulled up to Ulta and let's look at our um little list so we can know what's on my list that i need to get um and let's see if i leave out of the store or anything else because i'm always buying some things that i don't need so i need some concealer a beauty blender some lashes and some eyebrow gel i probably will get a brow pencil or a pen as well y'all use brow pens they're a little intimidating. I don't know if I'm going to actually get that or not. But I want my makeup for this shoot to like E-A-T-E. -E. So I think I want to do like a feathered brow look. So we'll see what I find. So come on. I don't know if they're going to allow me to record in here. Because sometimes Ulta's be doing too much. But we shall see. Baby, that's time calling. I got me a smoothie. <laughs> this joint tastes so good. Me and never have a Bahama Mama from Chocolate Cafe. This joint slap every time. But I just got back from Ulta in the grocery store. So let's do a little haul. I ended up not going to Trader Joe's because I was like, most of the stuff I need is going to be a Harris Teeter. And that's still not cute, so I didn't record. So let's get into my bag. I stayed to my um list for the most part, so I'm not too mad at myself. Anyways, I picked up the essentials, baby. I be needing these. I just got a new toner, you guys. I picked up a lot of Korean skincare, and I need those face pads so I can put on my toner. So, yeah. I picked up these spoolies because I was like, okay, if I'm getting brow lift, like the little brow gel stuff, I'm going to need a lot of you know disposable spoolies and they were pink and they were calling my name i don't even know how much they were but i feel like i just had to have them you know speaking of the brow lift i got from elf i'm so excited to try these i want that cute feathered lifted eyebrow oh yay so yeah i also got the nyx 
Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I'm so scared to try this, but I'm so excited. So, hopefully it work out. Hopefully it work out. I got me two different concealers. So, a lot of people have been raving about the Juvia's Place Concealer. Let me show y'all what it look like. Y'all probably like, girl, that's too light for you, but baby... I don't know. It's giving my color because I like a bright under eye anyways. It's really light, actually. Why don't I also have, like, a lot of mirrors in the drugstore department? I wasn't feeling like going all the way over there to where Mac was and stuff. To look at how this looks up against my skin. And I didn't want to put any on because they not like Sephora where they have, like, you know, the little wipes and trash cans on every aisle. But... <laughs> I don't know. I picked this up. This is in the color or the shade 2123A. No, it's like 17. It's the color 17, I guess. We're going to see how it looks. And then y'all probably like, what the fuck, you sir? I ended up getting another really, really light one. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I love this. I didn't know that they put the, um, they downsized the bottle. Because mine that I got off my is the mine the one that i got off mine is fat way fatter than this i think and this is even lighter like this is light bright but i love a good inner corner highlighted area so then i got me the elf sponge so a lot of elf this is one of my favorite sponges ever it's so stinking soft i wish they came in more colors but it's a duo and it's ten dollars so you really can't beat that my total came up to like 64 so i don't think that's bad i don't think that's bad and then from the grocery store, I got these beautiful flowers. And my dumbass also got a cake and like a little pipe and icing so I could write 50K on it and take my cute little aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing pictures. And I got candles. Real champ. But, you know, <laughs> it's a celebration. And I'm not going to eat that cake. Like, I don't like cake. So, it's really a waste of money. But... I don't care, pretty. So now what I'm about to do is try to put my bouquet of flowers together and make it look all cute and pretty. And then I'm probably going to set up my area where I want to take my photos. And then I'm going to beat my face. Of course, y'all are going to come along with me for the whole entire process. So let's get started. My braids. I redid my braids, y'all. Period. Well, I just redid the front and the middle. And then I redid the ends. So my ends can look all nice. Yes! What? Because my hair look like I just left from out the shop. Here we go. y'all so literally this is what my setup look like it looks so stinking ghetto but i promise you it's gonna look good when i take photos like hold on let me show you my phone just imagine like imagine if you only see what's on the screen that looks lit like how the curtain is draping and it's not a damn curtain that's my best friend <laughs> i'm so funny but the way it's draping is perfect and i sit right there and i got a bomb ass face yeah that's gonna eat oh god that's gonna eat up close and personal right now okay and it feels like i haven't done my makeup in so long and right now i'm also trying to film for tiktok so if you see me look over here it's because i'm recording on my phone do i do my brows now because i want to <coughs> try the new stuff i don't even know all right let's let's try it out Oh my god. Oh my god. I got the, the laminated look. Okay, I don't know if I like that. You guys, this shit really gives you like a fucking brow lift. Like, oh, that's why it's called brow lift. <laughs> that's why it's called brow lift, you Because I like redid this one and it's like, I just feel like I have so much more 
eyebrow like eyelid space now like it really just gave me a freaking eyebrow lift like bro that shit is crazy i didn't show y'all what i was using fenty a lot of people didn't know that fenty is um rihanna's last name i'm like have you been living under a rock she has such a pretty name and i really think like what you name your child is random thought but i think what you name your child is like so important and it really like kind of depicts what kind of life they're going to live. Like I swear, my name is so unique. I know I'm going to be a household name eventually. Like I just know it. Jatera. Jatera Brianna. You don't know too many motherfucking Jateras. Like it's not like an Aaliyah or, you know, a common name. I made my face red with that brow stuff. I feel like when her mom named her Robin Rihanna Fenty, she was like, you have no choice but to be successful AF. Um, I don't know if somebody lied to me or what, but this Juvia's place is creasing under my eyes so bad. You see that creasing right there? You see that? My stuff don't usually do that. Okay, that kind of helped it, but now I'm like super white, so... I'm about to go in with my Fenty powder and see if that could like calm it down because I don't like my under eye to be this bright. Okay, y'all getting all types of stuff in this video. You getting a, a full makeup beat, a little tutorial. You getting the first impressions. You getting behind the scenes footage. You getting how to make a bouquet of flowers. You getting a little bit of everything bouquet. Yay! I don't know what it is about me and this word bouquet but i've been saying it so much lately okay y'all so unfortunately my um camera was overheating so i had to turn it off for a little bit but basically the makeup is all done i just went ahead and finished my lippy and then i put on this top that i'm wearing and some gold jewelry or whatever and i've been so crazy <laughs> yo the setup is just hilarious but i really feel like this picture is gonna come out cute like just just bear with me okay i want to show y'all how everything comes together like yeah so let me set my phone up kind of want it like that i think and then the flowers i'm gonna take some pictures with them some pictures without them of course but yeah let's see how this goes and then i got my little clicker right here my tripod comes with it too but i haven't set it up yet so i'll be able to like take photos and you see how i just took the photo yeah pretty these are like the testers because i don't know how the lighting looks i don't know how my positioning looks not my phone dad y'all see the struggles of taking photos by yourself oh okay you guys so I look good. <laughs> My phone is dying, so it's like acting up on me right now. So literally that entire photo shoot I took with my phone on the charger. Like that's crazy. But I'm about to show y'all all the photos that I took just now. Do y'all see how many? I took like half with the flowers, half without. That's not even a lot to be honest. Usually I be taking way more photos at a time, but I'm real hungry, so <sighs> I got time. I got time. But yeah, it's a lot. Actually, it is a lot. I think my phone had jumped. So, those are the ones that I took. And then real quick, like, as I was going through them, I kind of, like, favorited some of them. <sighs> or whatever. I just think that was, like, a cute little moment or whatever. Y'all probably can't even see through the ring light. But... These photos are going to go inside the ebook on the, like, author page. I feel like that would be super cute. Super cute, super cute, super cute. I kind of want to film the rest of this tomorrow, but ain't no way I'm redoing my makeup, so let's go. We're on part two of the content, so I got my photos done. Like I said, that's for the e-course. And, like, just to post on Instagram because I haven't posted in forever, especially now, like, a picture picture. Now, as you can tell changed my top and i put my hair back into a middle part give it like rona sexy but not too much and now it's time to do my cake so i bought this plain as white cake and i got 
some black piping icing and some candles okay so if you know you know everybody does the little it's my birthday dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, song on tiktok but it's not my birthday so i'm not going to use that part but if you don't know the sound this would sound like Okay, and also this is gonna be like the vibe. It's my birthday. Okay, so in my hand it's gonna be the cake, and then when I went like that, that's like me putting the candle in, and I'm gonna blow it because bitch I have 50k pretty. So this is a dress, actually not a shirt. My nose itch. <laughs> my bad. So I'm about to go ahead and try like pipe this cake. Y'all, I hope it don't slide off because it was sliding in the goddamn car. So I had put it in the freezer, but like, I'm about to hold it like this, like, not even in its container because it keeps sliding off this little thing. Let me practice. my old look crazy look at my practice round oh my god i'm nervous i'm nervous let me practice my k again low-key i ate low-key i ate oh my god is my titty out no low-key i ate low-key i ate low-key i ate <laughs> No, because this is <laughs> this is too cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this on a back camera so I can actually read 50k. That's gonna make it even harder. How I'm gonna know I'm in frame? Oh hell! Everyone, it's my birthday. I'm just gonna have to do shit over and over again until I get it. So, oh, let me tell y'all because my battery done. Y'all don't even understand how long it took me to get one video. One video. I started this and it was 6 something and it's 7.51. But let me show y'all. My birthday. Like what the fuck? That's two second clip ass video. And I had to shorten it. I couldn't even do it how I wanted to because... The way I wanted to do it was, um, like, do more, but I couldn't because I'm not having the part that say it's my birthday. I'm only, I only wanted to, uh, uh, and I couldn't find a song by itself, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to have to use this little ass clip, and girl, it, it was a struggle. I burned myself three times. I got hella candle wax on my coat that was sitting right here. I'm just glad that the cake didn't melt and it didn't fall out of my hands onto my carpet. Whoa, we're getting burnt, we're getting burnt, we're getting burnt. <laughs> We're getting burnt. I just burn myself again. This is not okay. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna wrap up this photo shoot session because I am T R E D. I think tomorrow I'll probably show you guys like me putting together. You know, just adding the photos to the e course, putting it up on Etsy because ah, that's where I'm going to house my e-course because i'm also going to do like some templates and stuff to correspond with it later throughout the month so i want everything to be in one place so yeah thank y'all so much for watching so far and i will pick this up tomorrow hey guys so it is the next day it's almost like two o'clock p.m i just spent the entire morning editing all of yesterday's content i actually got it done like I put in my little funny clips, I put in music on like my b-roll scenes and all that good stuff. I am now putting like the finishing touches on my e-course. So basically I'm trying to give y'all a less sneak peek or whatever. Um, Some of these slides like of my legit e-course are going to be shown on Etsy because I want to give you a feel of what you're purchasing. So of course you're going to see the intro slide she's cute she's cute then i'm also going to show the table of content slide 
so like i said you know what you're purchasing um so yeah one slide that i'm not going to put on my etsy that i'm going to show you guys is the author's page because um i want to show you that i added the photos that we took yesterday they're so cute let me zoom in they came out really good and they actually look really professional and i didn't edit these like i just wanted it to be raw and uncut Oh, who these those didn't come out so cute. Like for my background to look how it was looking, girl, they came out really, really cute. I done showed y'all some goodies. Okay, so now what I'm about to do is just run all of my paragraphs through Google Doc and I'm gonna teach myself how to upload. Like I'm gonna download my e-course, make sure it looks good. I'm gonna try and purchase it to ensure that I run into no problems and yeah, I'm about to upload this baby on Etsy, so I'm going to teach myself how to do all of that, and I'm going to come back when we have the final product. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I just posted my first Etsy listing. Ah, it's right here. She's so stinking cute. And like I told y'all, I put the table of contents so everyone knows what they're buying, and I just put the outro because I want it to have three photos for you to look through um my pricing is $14 but I'm gonna do a half off sale so for a full month I think you can run sales for up to 30 days um it is highlighted that it's a digital download you're gonna get a pdf and oh my god it's so cool because I downloaded it on my ipad and it pops up my ebook pops up in my books, like when I'm reading my novels. That's so cool to me. And then I did a very in-depth description. So I went in a little bit more detail than what I did on the table of content. So you really know that you're gonna get a bang for your buck. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself. Like I could cry right now. I'm probably about to celebrate with a glass of rosé because I deserve. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. It was so, it was such a good feeling to celebrate 50k with you guys. Um, stay tuned. I got a lot more content coming. Don't worry. I'm not going nowhere again. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new if you are interested in joining the whole youtuber social media influencing world you know go check out my etsy store and yeah i'll see y'all in the next one bye mamas mm. yeah.